This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico, or specifically I'm in Sandston. And today we're going to take a look at a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. This home was built in 2009. We're coming in at about 1,700 square feet. Uh, if you or your family has an income of about 45,000 or so, uh, this home would be right in the ballpark of your price range, assuming normal debt load. And uh, let's go in and take a look. Uh, it's raining outside. And uh, if you were not able to ascertain that, uh, definitely not ideal conditions to shoot a video. However, we rarely have ideal conditions for many things in life. And about two times a month, I get a phone call from someone and they say, Max, uh, we've been watching your videos for a couple of years. And, I just really never really got the nerve to, to give you a call, but we're doing it today. And it, it always kind of baffles me when people say that because I'm probably one of the most approachable people you'll ever meet. And when you call, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to uh, get to know a little bit about your situation, what you're trying to do, uh, what your background is. And then when I refer you to a good local lender uh, that is excellent with grant programs 100 percent financing and uh, definitely at the top of their game locally uh, they're going to do one of two things they're going to either say yes you're good to go you can purchase and this is the purchase prequal amount that we can offer you or they're going to say well you need a little bit of work and if you need a little bit of work it may take three six weeks it may take a year or two to get to the point where you're ready and qualified to buy however it all begins with that initial phone call and you'll never know what it's going to take or be able to get started until you make that initial phone call. Uh, today is the last day of 2018. So I know a lot of people are working on those New Year's resolutions and thinking about what their game plan is for the upcoming year. Um, for many people, that game plan is going to include a home purchase and I truly hope that it does. Uh, the interest rates are trending upward. Prices are trending upward. Uh, however, if you look at interest rates over the past 30, 40 years, the current rates are still a bargain, uh, still very, very attractive. Plus, you get the tax benefits of ownership. You get the appreciation and the pride of ownership of saying that your house is your house. Uh, if you are thinking about going ahead and making that, I always urge people to start early. Give me a call. Like now, if you're watching this and it's the first day of 2019 or the first week of 2019, this is a great time to do it. We can get that ball in motion. The lender can evaluate you. There's no charge or obligation for them to do that. And then we can see how things are going to progress. If your credit is not where it needs to be, I'll put you in touch with the right people that will get you there. If you have a bunch of debt, I'll give you some resources on how to get that debt paid down. Uh, there's all types of ways to do that and to get your financial house in order. Okay, we are here in our first secondary bedroom. This is on the conservative side. This would be a great child's bedroom, a twin bed, or an office. The thing I like about a home this age is we've got a nice modern floor plan, and you'll see that here when we go into the master. Um, you don't really get this good floor plan for today's lifestyle with a lot of older homes that have not been renovated. I know I've been spoiling you guys here lately with all these nice rehabs, but this is going to be a little different, of course. The beauty of a home like this is if you're willing to take on the work, then there are some typically financial rewards for doing so. Plus, you can customize it and make it yours. You can change out these colors, put in new carpet, and just really give the house a nice personal touch. We've got upstairs laundry here. Your wash and dryer would go right there. Our hall bath is pretty dark, so I don't think we're going to be able to see a whole lot in there. Let me see. I'm going to turn on my flashlight. This is going to help us if I can do two things at once and get this flashlight on. Then we'll at least be able to take a look here. I can't believe I got you guys here in the dark I'm trying to look at this. The government does not, they do not turn on electricity here in, uh, in their homes. So sometimes it's a little challenge, uh, but it's pretty much a 
a pretty typical hall bath. And we're transitioning now into the master bedroom. I like this master for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's really good size. Number two, we've got two closets. We've got dual closets here. Uh, the first one is right here. Good storage space. And then we've got another one that's up here. It's a little bit brighter. Uh, and we've got some natural light that flows in through the window. This one's a little bit smaller here, but still good size. You can do uh, some type of compartmentalization there, that wall, and uh, get the maximum benefit out of it accordingly. Okay, this is going to be our master bath here. Nicely done. Good size vanity there. And um, I really, really appreciate you guys giving me the feedback. I've been getting a lot more feedback here lately. I've got some loyal viewers that every time they watch, they at least say hello, and I really appreciate that. Um, I know that if I miss a bedroom in one of these houses, I'll definitely get a bunch of feedback. You guys don't miss a thing when it comes to keeping me on my toes as far as doing what I'm supposed to do to properly present these homes. Now, from time to time, we see this. We don't see a whole lot of this here in homes, but this was a perfect right cross here. That's a perfect fit there. Um, they came in at proper angle and they actually came in a proper height to probably about uh, five foot four from the ground. Uh, fortunately, uh, the drywall took that impact and hopefully it did not make any flesh on flesh contact. But that's um, a simple, a simple renovation or a simple repair for any competent handy woman uh, that could be back like new with no real problem. Max Williams, 402-7788. Be sure to like and subscribe if you'd be kind enough to reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Best wishes in the new year. Have a great day.